shut the radar down at this time. Unbeknownst to us, the Imperial Japanese was laying 230 miles north of the island base of Oahu and Pearl Harbor. Yakagi, Kaga, Hear You, Soar You, Shokaku and Suikaku have launched 410 airplanes. For over an hour, for over a month. At that particular time, their ambassador tomorrow was meeting with our Secretary of State, Cardell Hall, trying to negotiate peace. The Nakajima B 5 hit Kate and the Ayachi D 389 bomb. 432 aircraft off of those six aircraft carriers were devastating. Pearl Harbor, Hickam, Fellows, Aliwa, Pearl Harbor, and all of the other American bases that took care of the Western defense of the United States of America. Watch now. High above, the Ayachi D-389 bomber drops a 1,700-pound bomb that hits the foredeck of the United States battleship, the Arizona. 1,177 of America's finest young men went to a watery grave that December the 7th morning, 1941. You're an 18 you're on the foredeck of the Nevada. You're the only air, or you're the only ship that manages to get underway during the two hours that the Imperial fleet was invading our base at Pearl Harbor. Your captain had the steam up. He was able to get the ship moving towards the opening out of Pearl Harbor into the Pacific Ocean. But the airplanes were all over him. They were like bees on a honey pot. And he was ordered, he was commanded to put the ship a beach at Hospital Point. She went back into service just in 1942. Just a few six months later. Laying out alongside the quays there in Pearl Harbor was the battleship Oklahoma. That great ship took five, the Nakajima B-5 N Kate, with the torpedoes underneath the belly of the airplane. They dropped first one, then two, a total of five torpedoes hit the side of that great ship. She rolled over on her side, taking over 400 men to the watery grave that December the 7th morning, 1941. Admiral Izuroko Yamamoto, the commander of the Japanese Combined Fleet, received information from his people that they had totally surprised the Americans at Pearl Harbor. We have done severe damage, he told them. Admiral Yamamoto said, I fear that we have done nothing more than to awaken a sleeping, sleeping giant. For over two hours, this continued. 432 airplanes. But two young American servicemen, flying P-40 Warhawks, had just come in off the beach. They commandeered a Buick, drove out to Haleiwa, got in their P-40 Warhawks. Lieutenants Ken Taylor and George Welch managed to shoot down five and a half of the, they got credit for five and a half of the Japanese airplanes. At the same time, the midget submarines were trying to get inside the bay at Pearl Harbor so 
that they could take out the ships that were laying at the Keys alongside Port Island. Smell the smoke. Feel the concussion of the bomb as it goes off under your feet. Imagine yourself an 18-year-old serviceman. You're away from home the first time in your life. Listen to our president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Classic aircraft. <laughs> 